What do you understand by that? Simply put, business financials assignment is about showing a profit and loss statement of the business as well as growth potential, marketability, and overall growth rate. Cool. See how close we are getting to being business gurus? You too can be one if you pay attention throughout the show. Yes, Patricia. Uh, quick one, Patricia. We've, we've gone through your accounts. So just a couple of questions. Um, on the revenue, the cost for the cards may make sense if, if those are the costs. But then when you look at your admin costs, you are you are targeting to spend 17,600 a month. Your management cost is 5,000. Now, tell me who gets, who gets paid 5,000 kwacha as a, as a manager? That's a good question. Um, but remember, this is, um, uh, we are expanding, we're launching a project. So we are, we, uh, the 5,000 is really um, because well, I've been advised that you can't necessarily stay in our first year, won't get anything. So we said, um, let's add an amount because um, I know a lot of um, managers will, will sacrifice to, for the sake of the growth, especially in the very first year. We doubt very much that you'll be able to get a manager who will accept the 5,000 kwacha salary. So two employees and you'll be paying them 2,400 kwacha each. Unfortunately, I think one of the biggest disservices she's done for herself is what she's presented and realistic figures, both in terms of her sales projections, in terms of what will be coming in, but especially in terms of her expenditure. At the moment, what is driving the, 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 the curve? On revenue, yeah. Revenue is the income? Correct. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good with her. That's fine, sales. So what's, uh, what, what's driving the curve? is the, the enrollment rate. So it's like there's, there's a rise in the enrollment capacity at the moment, especially from um, after COVID closure. Yes, we discovered that uh, a lot of parents who were taking children to good schools, high paying schools, most of them lost their jobs. Mm. So they opted for us because we were cheaper. Then what happens when the economy gets back on track and people start regaining their jobs, gaining full employment? Does that mean that they will no longer be interested in sending their children to your school? Uh, I think what matters is quality. If our quality is going to be stable, just like the way it is now, they still maintain to stay with us. How do you then get deliberately get more students into your, your classrooms? Okay, um, so at the moment what we've done, I think uh, advertising is helping us. Yes, advertising is but helping. I do not see any advertising expense in your expenditure. Maybe it's part of the sundries, I don't know. You're supposed to know. This is, you know, part of your, your business. Your you're business. your owner, your manager, your director, right? So every single uh, ngwe that leaves your company has to be understood and captured. This does not come under profit and loss because this is a capital expenditure. That is a capital expenditure. And if you, I take you to our notes there, that is going to come out in the first uh, one year. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is it does not affect your profit and loss. Your annual income, remains consistent at 120 or if they are two, 240. Does it mean that you will not adjust the rates at any time in the next five years? Thank you, sir.